Hey everyone, welcome to the Crypto ZX channel. If you're new, please consider subscribing, liking, and commenting. But now let's get right into today's analysis, which is regarding a none other than Stellar Lumens. We're going to be talking about what is happening with Stellar Lumens right now. Obviously, today is Sunday, and where we could see the price going as we do go into this upcoming week ahead of us. If we're looking at the altcoins, you know, we're seeing some green across the board, and definitely something that we will take. Um, but remember, you know, like I've mentioned, you know, CME futures are closed on the weekends and, you know, manipulation can occur. So it's really going to be interesting to see how the market reacts as we do go into this upcoming week ahead of us. So if we're looking at XLM down about 1.4% over the last 24 hours in USD comparative, currently sitting at 12 cents. Uh, and it's also down about 1.7% in BTC comparative. Um, looking at its market cap, $3.3 billion, 24 hour trading volume currently sitting at $55.2 million. So what we're seeing happening compared to our previous update is that the buying pressure has decreased compared to last time but now let's take a look at the price see what is happening what are some trends that we should be looking out for and what could be potentially the next price targets for stellar lumens as always just a quick disclaimer that anything on this channel is not financial advice always do your own due diligence and research when you are investing in cryptocurrency so let's take a look at xlm right now and see what is happening as of now so if we're looking at stellar lumens price right now um you can see something very similar uh, is happening as to what was happening over the past few days so once again we're finding ourselves at that same support line and remember this support line is not something that we should be ignoring look at this this was one of the previous massive levels of resistance in 2020 when we were breaking out towards the upside and obviously you can see this for yourself we have significant support built up around these levels and it's no secret at this point that you know stellar lumens is finding massive supports around this you can see this for yourself so that is a great thing to see of course you know uh, being supported by previous levels of resistances uh, is a huge you know a uh, plus point uh, but now comes the question you know a lot of people are once again you know I'm starting to see a lot of negative um, you know articles going around you know I just read one today it was saying oh XLM is losing uh, its momentum XLM is extremely bearish one thing that really you know blows my mind is the fact that you know people are gonna come pinpoint a specific project write articles on it to create FUD but forget um, you know that the entire market is down right now look at the entire market on the monthly time frame let's take a look at XLM where is XLM for us 24.4 percent that's how much it's down so now you, you might be saying crypto ZX is down quite significantly but is XLM the only project that's down let's look at the other ones we're seeing a double digit decrease around the board and this is what people tend to forget um, you know, if you are a crypto OG, you know that this is a time where people like accumulating especially strong projects that they think will be um, revolutionary, that can change uh, the entire world, that can bring utility, that can change the outlook on crypto. And obviously, XLM is one of the projects that is that. And not only that, it has a working product. We know that. We've been seeing that. And that is a great thing to see. And of course, people were saying, uh, I'm sorry, not people, you know, I read an article that was saying, oh, um, you know, XLM uh, mainnet uh, has dropped in terms of activity. Obviously, the price is down. You know, we're not in a bull market. People are going to take everything possible to hit a project. Uh, but, you know, that is quite interesting. But let's take a look at it on the hourly time frame. So if we're looking at it on the hourly time frame, as mentioned, we're seeing some support coming up in our way, which is uh, from you know that 11.75 cents and we did get supported by there just on the 23rd of august you can see this for yourself we were supported by there we've seen a bounce so as of now what i can do right now for you guys is draw this line oops that's not gonna work let's bring it out on here maybe this will work for us sorry not this one right right here there we go oopsies sorry guys um there we are 
So now basically what we're seeing happening is we are bouncing back and forth around this level of support at this 11.7 cents mark. We could potentially be seeing a retest happening if BTC pulls back below 26k. Today we did see it go above 25 I'm sorry $26,000, uh, but if it were to be going back down to uh 25,000 ranging it around that level 25,500, we could see XLM making its way down to retest this level of support now comes the question is this a support an important level of support absolutely huge level of support for the price of stellar i want to see a bounce from this range if we're unable to see a bounce we could potentially be retesting uh, you know around that 10 cents mark it all depends on bitcoin right now but you know i've said to you guys before i am thinking that xlm is going to be one of the leading contenders in terms of the large cap coins that will make uh, some massive gains this cycle hitting new yearly highs uh, and all-time highs as well we did see the power it has the correlation the positive correlation between xlm and xrp is there but right now xrp is facing once again sec appealing that um you know when uh from uh you know xrp and now x you know they're appealing that decision so that gives XLM an advantage in my opinion. Yes, we are seeing that correlation play out. It's not no secret. I'm not denying that correlation part, but I think this will uh, be a big plus point for Stellar as well because Stellar at the end of the day is a competitor to XRP. And, you know, I think a lot of people are starting to realize that not just people, big organizations are, uh, you know, working with Stellar. So that really paints a good picture as to uh, where this project really is going. But at the same time, you know, that is not no uh, take on XRP. I'm a huge, huge fan of XRP. I want that project to succeed. And I think SEC is not going i made an update on uh, xrp i would want you guys to go watch that a very interesting take on that um and i think xrp is not going anywhere in terms of you know even with this case anymore i think that uh decision if they were to you know even appeal or whatever you want to call it i don't think that a judge is going to let these guys get away with this and i'm very confident that it will be denied this time around now if we're looking at the bitcoin rainbow chart guys this is btc bitcoin the king of the markets i want you guys to pay very close attention to this chart you can see this dark blue zone this dark blue zone is considered a fire sale so right now in the previous levels you know this was where accumulation was happening so we're still in the accumulation phase even for btc we did make our way out of that in the buy territory but this really shows where bitcoin currently is sitting you know this is giving us an understanding where bitcoin right now is ranked and what potentially could be btc's uh price action um as we do go into uh you know after having time um you know obviously uh potentially the etf were being to be approved a lot of speculation going on that you know BlackRock is already buying BTC in the back end and I absolutely agree with that. I think these guys are buying Bitcoin over the counter. There will be massive, massive negative news coming out of here just to shake out the weak hands to pick up BTC at a cheaper price. I think that you know it's not a matter of if it's a matter of when this etf were to be approved and everyone having access to bitcoin and now you may be saying what does that have to do with uh xlm guess what potentially there could be an xlm and an xrp um etf as well because now when people are looking at bitcoin people are going to be like ah oh, now i know you guys are going to be talking about the terminology of etf you know etf does not mean you own like a full-on bitcoin you can own percentage um blah 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 but People could be like, hey, you know, we are seeing or hearing other projects, you know, that are making some massive strides. XLM, you know, XRP, Solana, Cardano. The future is very exciting. If you're new to the markets, I know this could be very, very scary times. But, you know, these are the times where you need to hodl if you have done your due diligence and research and have invested where you can afford to lose, then guess what? You need to be having patience. You do not want uh, to be shaken out out of the weak hands. I really do believe we're approaching, uh, you know, the end of this phase where accumulation does come to an end. And I really think things will start picking up sooner than a lot of people think. Remember, no one was looking at the XLM around this range. I'm sure around here, the 
the believers of XLM at that 7.5 cents mark, the ones that picked it up, they're still up a staggering 61% and they were up almost 2x after that when uh, from XRP. So really paints a picture why patience is so important. We're still in the accumulation zone. Uh, as I've mentioned to you guys before, fireworks begin once we get into this blue zone, which we haven't gotten yet since literally 22nd. Um, I'm sorry, 2022 April of last year. So really, sees we're still in an accumulation zone. Uh, but that is it for today's update. I want to hear from you guys your personal take on, um, you know, Stellar. Where could you see the price of Stellar going? Anything that you guys want to share with me? Let me know in the comment section. I will see you guys on tomorrow's Monday, Tuesday. I love you all. Thank you for your support. Bye now.